The Education Channel takes you inside the classroom to see what's cool in school. Wearable smart devices represent the next stage in mobile computing, and Google Glass is the most highly anticipated gadget in that space. It is not an extension of your smartphone or tablet, but is a whole new device in itself that can perform various day-to-day -day tasks without you ever moving your hands, and that can create some interesting teaching and learning advantages. Google Glass can show the world what you are seeing, live. As an educator, you can demonstrate a science experiment and share the feed with your students in real time and make them a part of the experience. Or, just say the word and Google Glass will take a picture or record a video. You never have to touch the hardware. This feature is perfect for those educators who are beginning to flip their classrooms. Adam Winkle, instructional resource teacher at Mike Davis Elementary, received a pair of Google Glasses after writing a grant. He is taking his Google Glass on the road. Let's take a look at one of Mr. Winkle's science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, or STEM videos that he created with the glass. For this STEM vid, we're going to be talking about air pressure. Now, what we're going to do today is I'm going to give you some items that you could use at home. Now remember, part of this experiment has to be done with adult supervision. Take a look. We're going to take food coloring, a tea candle, a lighter, and a glass of water. We're going to then put that water in the plate with the tea candle in the center. Then we're going to watch what happens. Okay, let's begin by putting in some food coloring in our water. Uh, about six drops will do. Once your water is fully mixed, go ahead and pour some of that water onto your plate. Now remember to clean up any of the spill that you might have, which Mr. Winkle has a lot apparently. Okay. Now what you're going to do is you're going to have a parent light your tea candle. Once the tea candle is lit, set it in the center of your plate. Now, with your empty glass, place your empty glass on top of your tea candle and into the water and let go. And watch what happens. Oh, isn't that cool? Take a look at my plate. There's absolutely no water along the base of my plate. Why do you think that is? Well, the reason is simple. Inside this, the air was being heated up by the candle, which caused an area of low pressure. The hot air is low pressure. Now, outside is cooler than inside this cup because, of course, we don't have candles outside. The cooler air then creates a high pressure to push the water into the cup. Hot air is low pressure. Cold air is high pressure, which caused it to be pulled into the cup and then over our candle. That's so cool. It appears that Google Glass is certainly a technology tool to watch in education. And now you know what's cool in school. Oh, 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 oh.